let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 9. Welcome friends, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and Apple's getting ready to release the Apple Watch Series 9, as well as the Apple Watch Ultra 2. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Apple's latest wearables and what the future holds for next year. Let's go ahead and dive into it. There's gonna be two notable changes for the Apple Watch Series 9. The first is Apple's finally going to upgrade the SIP. That's on the system in package, and it's basically the processor that runs inside the Apple Watch. Apple has kept the processor largely the same. The Apple Watch Series 6, Series 7, and Series 8 all are using essentially the same chip on the inside. The S6, S7, and S8 SIPs all are based on the A13 Bionic processor, and while they included other new benefits, including better management of battery life, faster charging support, the ultra wideband chip, other things like that, the processor has actually stayed the same speed. So the last three Apple Watches have not got any faster in actually how you use them. No better performance. The S9 inside of the Apple Watch Series 9 looks to fix that. The S9 will be based around the A15 Bionic processor which moves from a seven nanometer to a five nanometer process and should have a drastic impact on the performance of the Apple Watch. The S9 SIP should show up in all Apple Watch models, including the Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Additionally, we should see a new pink color coming to the aluminum version of the Apple Watch. Apple's had rose gold colors in the past, but this is described as more pink versus rose gold. So it could be more of a hue of just silver versus having that gold tint to it. I think people will prefer this. I know a lot of people that don't quite like gold, so they don't go towards the rose gold. Maybe this new pink color will be more what they're looking for. Unfortunately, that looks like the main difference in terms of the color or physical appearance changes with the Apple Watch Series 9. I'll level with you guys. This seems like a very minor incremental update for the Apple Watch. I mean, last year's Series 8 wasn't a huge jump up, but this seems even smaller than in years past. Apple does look to fix this with a couple different solutions. First, watchOS 10 is a big upgrade, but it will be coming to other versions of the Apple Watch. But in commercials, it's gonna make the Apple Watch Series 9 look really powerful because watchOS 10 is pretty freaking great. I mean, I'm already using it on my Apple Watch Ultra. It's wonderful, you're gonna love it, even if you have an older version of the Apple Watch. Plus, Apple's gonna be introducing some new band options with the Series 9. Rumors say that Apple's working on like a woven textured band that has a magnetic clasp. It's been described as being similar to Apple's modern buckle. If you haven't seen the modern buckle before, it's really cool. It's one of my favorite Apple Watch bands. Super duper slim, comfortable to wear. It is on the more feminine side, so my wife has this band and I think she really likes it when she wants to kind of like upscale her Apple Watch, but it has a magnetic clasp that just like snaps together. So it looks like a buckle, top, bottom, it looks like a buckle, but it's actually a two-part design that magnetically comes apart, so you never have to adjust it and it looks really cool. So the modern buckle is leather. The new one sounds like it's more of a woven option, so maybe more towards like the solo loop situation, but with a new magnetic clasp. I'm really interested in it. I think Apple's done some amazing stuff with watch bands, so it's gonna be pretty cool to see what new band offerings they've got. Finally, it almost seems like Apple's just taking a gap year because the Apple Watch next year and 2024 sounds like it's going to be a big deal. That one is going to be the Apple Watch 10, or the Apple, before getting to the Apple Watch X or Apple Watch 10, Apple Watch Ultra 2. Honestly, we haven't heard anything. Sure, the S9 SIP is gonna be coming to the Apple Watch Ultra 2, but other than that, we've heard literally zero other than the fact that it's going to exist. There are rumors that we could see a darker hue of titanium. I mean, we're gonna have that darker hue of titanium on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Ultra. So maybe we'll have a similar darker titanium for the Apple Watch Ultra 2. But other than that, this thing sounds like it's gonna be keeping things pretty similar to how it's been. So Apple Watch 10. This is gonna be Apple Watch's big overhaul. Big redesign, the one that we have been waiting years for. That's not the larger screen and outdoorsy aesthetic of the Apple Watch Ultra, just a true redesign of the core Apple Watch, and it's been a long time coming. This will be the first time in basically 10 years or so since Apple launched this product that's going to get a radical overhaul. So first off, Apple's looking to really streamline the design, make it a lot sleeker and slimmer than in years past. And part of doing that, it actually may have to change the band system. 
Apple looks to change out the way that bands currently slide onto Apple Watch, where they slide in and out of those grooves, taking that away completely and moving to a new magnetic system. Apple loves its magnets. So this could be taking up a lot less space than the way that Apple is connecting Apple Watch bands now. This is gonna be hugely controversial because a lot of people have massive Apple Watch band collections and it sounds like they won't work on the new Apple Watch 10. This is going to be a big, big deal for a lot of people and it could prohibit them from upgrading to the Apple Watch 10. So if you want the latest and greatest, you might as well buy the Apple Watch Series 9 now if you don't want to risk your bands not working with the Apple Watch 10. So what do you guys think? Are you going to be picking up an Apple Watch Series 9 or an Apple Watch Ultra 2? Are you hoping Apple has more in store for us? Or are you going to wait for the Apple Watch 10, Apple Watch Series 10, Apple Watch X, whatever it's called, coming out next year? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more coverage for you as we get closer to Apple's event.